Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, here again with a box to unpackage, a package to unbox. This one comes to us by way of a uh, uh, Jacob, Jacob Lundquist of, of Quist, Quist of the Q Blade Works people. Insert brand name here. That's right, this is a brand new model from uh, Quist, Vist, Quist, Quist, Quist Blade Works. Let's just call it that. This is the FSD. It's what I'm going to use to open this because I love this knife. Um, we're going to pop this open. Oops. I hope that wasn't important. Uh, mm, let's see. Ooh. Oops. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is awkward. I don't. The ooh ooh stickers, St uh, stick don't don't need don't need that anymore. This is the vanish. Uh, there's some paperwork about it. I think this is his new slip joint. I've been I've been getting a lot of slip joints lately, so always pumped to check out a new slip joint. I like what he does over there. Jacobs uh, is a talented man. I am struggling. I am, ooh, leather slip, check it out. All right, let's look at this thing. First off, nice little box, simple, nothing crazy, a little foam insert there. We have this in a little Ziploc baggie in a leather slip, which is always nice to see with a slip joint with the nice Cuvist Blade Works logo. It's good to see, baby. It's the little things, man. Nice. Ooh, smells good too. Smells real nice. Uh, let's pull this thing out. And we have, oh yes, look at this. Look at, would you just, would you just look at this adorable little slip joint? I had no idea it was this small. Holy shit. Um, so I carried my, hold on, let me get, I don't know where it's at. Help. I carried this today. I usually carry a slip joint as a backup. This is my Ohio River Jack. I love this. Let's look at a size comparison. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, dude. This is, this is the vantage is tiny. I get the name now. It is t so insignificantly small. Nice half stop. What are the brass scales or anodized aluminum? I'm not sure. Uh, titanium. Hard, uh, titanium scales, titanium hardware, 20 CV blade steel. So it's really, it's just a tiny little baby. Cuvist, vist, vist, whatever. It's just, look at it. Yeah, look at the I have tiny hands. It's almost like a toy. I'm I, I'm kind of in love with it. Beautiful, man. Real nice tall flat grind. 20 CV on the blade steel. Nice black wash there. I love a good golden black color combo. It always looks nice. T8 hardware all the way around. A big deployment slot, even though you don't need it. Really nice half stop there. That's no joke, dude. Listen to this thing. Right? It is adorable, dude. It's just a shrunk down PE2. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. PE2 version. I'm sorry. There's too many knives. But uh, yes, it is really tiny. So Ergo's in hand. Honestly, no. Does it fill the hand all the way? No. But that feels great. That little cutout right there. Your kind of index finger lands right there. This feels solid. Like I have no complaints here. You can kind of choke up up here on like the bolster area right underneath the pivot. That feels fine. Like all good. This is great. It weighs nothing because it is all titanium. Really nice and snappy, man. Like an easy pull four or five out of ten as far as pull strength goes. But very satisfying to play with. And just a delightful, such a nice shape. Uh, I, I just, everything this man does has it just this kind of... Simple, elegant, yet modern somehow, weird, futuristic, space-age, modern minimalism is what we're going to call it. Sure. Nice. Very nice. I knew nothing about this, honestly. I thought it was his new, new, like the front flipper thing he's got coming out. I don't know what the hell that's called. But um, I am pleasantly surprised that this is what he actually, what I am actually holding. I can't believe how light it is. Honestly, I might... 
If I were to buy one, I would get a smaller slip. But it is really nice. If these ship with these leather slips, this is a really nice leather slip. This is very nice. Um, I prefer the work of Troy, Northwood Leatherworks Co. Follow him on Instagram. Um, because he can kind of make things perfectly sized to the knife, right? But that is very nice. Throw that in the pocket with your wallet. Call it a day. We ought to cut something with it. Like I said, 20 CV. Real nice, tall, flat grind on this thing. Oh yeah. Oh, I bet you it cuts. Bust out the old phone book here. Let me zoom you out. Let's take a look-see here real quick. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, cutting performance. Top notch. Nice and thin behind the edge. Love this blade shape for light EDC use. This kind of like sheep's foot warny thing going on here. This is like... You know I love this blade shape. This is my go-to. So I'm all for it. It really is. It's just a tiny PE2 slip joint that weighs next to nothing and cuts insanely well because that blade stock, everything about this is just tiny. It's just itsy bitsy and I just adore it. <laughs> I dig this, dude. This is the uh, Vist Blade Works Vanish uh, and... If you're into slip joints or you're just a big fan of this blade works, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a win for me, dude. That's a big win for me. I also love this colorway. I love the form factor. It's very, it, this is such a non-scary knife. You could hand this to anybody, right? And you're not going to scare them away. I'm all for this. Very well done, Jacob. Thank you for letting me check this out. Um, I will uh, leave links in the description. I'm not sure if this is going to be a pre-order. $119, it says. Uh, for the pre-order and then 149 retail qsp will be making these and they've done they've been doing just dynamite work lately with all of their oem projects in pdc you know what i mean yeah, the qsp kind of knows what they're doing this is sick again links in the description plenty of pictures on my instagram uh but that is it i you know i, I i'm kind of becoming a slip joint guy who who would have known who would have guessed it so until next time thank you all so much for watching Bye-bye now.